is November 13, 10 a.m. Cameroon time, that the team of the Sacred Strangers of National Telegraph arrived in Bambali to carry out investigations on what has been happening for the past few weeks, few months, from the day when Charles Truman West called the American missionary was killed just a kilometer from this spot where we are standing, called Bambui. Okay. Good morning, my brother. How are you doing this morning? Uh, by the grace of God, we are fine. Yes, we. this is uh, the sacred stranger of National Telegraph. Wish to know, for the past months, we have realized that Bambili, that used to harbor about 7,000 students, is today void of a single living thing around this area. Nothing is living. Even goats, we could not find goats, nothing. Businesses have closed down. And we just realized this is a shop of yours that is almost empty. What happened with this shop? Yeah, as you can see, I'm a businessman here at Bambili. Uh, life, life here is not easy. It has been very tough for us since the, um, the last time we, the white man was killed down there at Bambui. Ah, that's Charles Truman Westcott, the missionary, the American missionary. Uh, yeah, I don't, know, I don't even know his name, but that's the name I, I, I got. So life has not been easy. See, even in our business, nothing is moving. Last time, um, uh, just one day after, one day after the tragic incident happened, the, the, the military people came here. The Cameroon military or the Ambazonian Restoration Forces? No, I... We have um, a, a problem here, there's curfew. So those who can only do things um, at night will be the military. Yeah. But nobody is free to move. Okay. You cannot move. So okay. The only people that have the audacity and the autonomy to move are the Cameroon military. Okay, to your own knowledge, who actually killed Charles Truman Westcott, the American missionary? Was it the Amber Boys or the Cameroon military? No, from what I heard, from, from, from what I heard and saw, the, when the, these guys used to come and pass around here, they have never, do, they have, they have never killed anyone. Yes, the Ambazonian Boys have never no, killed. No, no, I've never saw, I mean, I, I need to say the Ambazonian killed. Yes. So I know it was the military. It was fight between the military and the Amber Boys. Wait, who they already left? Yeah, okay, the Ambassador Boys have already left before yeah. uh, Charles Truman Westcott was killed. Yeah, because he was coming in, I mean, in a car. Okay. So the military has a problem that when somebody is coming in a car when they are fighting, it's um, uh, the the Amber Boys. Okay. We what happened with the shops along this area? Because we realized the shops are closed, student areas are closed. What happened? The military came here and brutalized everybody. Yeah. They break into the shop. Collected items like phones, laptop, as you can see. What I'm saying is, the only people that have the audacity to move in the night is the Cameroon military. Okay. So we have a cafe here. Okay. From six to six. So we are shop. I see a shop empty. Yeah. You you say it used to be a an electronic uh, yeah. shop. Yeah. What happened? Is it the military that looted everything, or what happened? Yes, because we came in the morning and we saw not nothing. Okay. And those who usually move in the night is the military. Okay. So that's why I base my fact. Thank you. Uh, this is J.R. Bonaventure, the representative of National Telegraph, Bambili. You are welcome. Thank you. Okay. Pa, good morning. Good morning, Mr. Piquet. Yes. I, we understand, say, it is so you'll be landlord for this compound. Yes, Mr. Piquet. Yes. We, we, we come for hear from you what actually happened where your compound where we get plenty student, them no one knows today. No, because maybe the other day, you know, so we know there was some situation where a drunk plenty. As I where how many people have been come here, then broke door for picking them, they move thing them, move their computer, then go them so they picking them, they will pack come out. This army the way they talk now the Ambazonian army them or now the Cameroonian military force. Now Cameroon military my picking. So you rewind this is Pangli. A local settlement situated about 10 kilometers from Bamenda Central of the Northwest region and just one kilometer from Bambui, which has gone down into the annals of history as a place where the American missionary Truman Westcott was killed. This street of Bambali takes us to the legendary University of Bambali, 
ENS Annex Bambali and Insect Bambali. But as you can see, even stores around the area are almost shut down or deserted because for the past month, as we got it from the local indigents of the place, the Cameroon military came and molested the people, break into student residential areas, looted household gas, laptop, phones, and other durables. For this reason, Bambali, that used to harbor about 10,000 inhabitants, amongst which 4,000 were local indigents and 5,500 or 6,000 were made of students who came all over the national territory and from some African countries. Today, along the street, which used to be thickly populated, you can just find a handful of students loitering around, but the shops are almost closed down because life here is not more conducive for human habitation. As we all know, Bambali has become a chaotic area which is not of its nature. Here we are not able to find a single animal or bird because birds, as we learned from some local authorities and students, were also killed and looted by the Cambodian military. What makes it again a fearful thing or a fearful episode to live here is because of the death of Charles Truman Westcott who was killed as we learn by the Cameroon military. As we visited, um, as you see, the shops, these areas used to boom with students, used to have shops of electronics, fashion, as you can see. It is already 10 a.m. here in Bambali, but nothing, nothing, no life, except a handful of students who are just hanging around, probably because they have not gotten transport to go back home. Bambili, that used to be a legendary settlement and hotspot in the northwest region, has become a chaotic settlement. Bambili has gone down to the annals of history in this country as the legendary site of the great University of Bamenda, as I told you. Bambili has also gone down to have sent out so many administrators of these countries teachers, technicians, engineers, they pass through Bambali. But today, Bambali is almost collapsing and it's almost being shut down because of chaos. When these areas used to boom, you will not find shops everywhere. You will not find places shut down. This street is an indicator to say that Bambali of recent has become an abandoned zone. Students have flee, fled away, animals, disappeared you can see grass growing in front of places which used to be fashion shops hot spots for students to habitate Bambali is not longer a place to live when we came here to get even pictures was a problem because the military would not accept this used to be a, a hot spot for recording sales of videos films and music. This used to be a wonderful saloon where students would come and chef. But as you see, the whole place has been covered by shrubs. No life, nothing, no life. This used to be a drinking spot. It has been abandoned. With the chaotic story of Bambui, which is a neighboring settlement of Bambali where Charles Stroman Westcott was killed by the Cameroon military. It has also affected this area. The area is not more good for habitation. You can see for yourself. I just met with some military guys at the gate of the university. And uh, when I talked with them, uh, they said uh, not up to 50 students come to school daily. So this can be an evidence that schools are not effective in the Northwest region. If the university, which is a wonderful area to be, has barricades like this leading into the entrance of the school, therefore, it gives us a sense of understanding that life here is not like before. These are shops just around the university gate. 
shrubs with grain around the area. Nothing to write home. Nothing at all to write home. Reporting from Bambeli for National Telegraph, Secret Strangers, I am J.R. Bonaventure. Thank you.